FarmWorks Accounting allows us to e-file W-2 and 1099 forms. To do this, click on the Accounting menu, Payroll, Payroll Reports, Forms W-2 and W-3. Here we'll actually e-file instead of printing them. So we'll make sure we select e-file forms, choose the calendar year, and now select the employees by double-clicking on them. By double-clicking, it brings up the W-2 form window. This is where we can make any last-minute edits to the forms before e-filing. Now we'll choose Transmit to Website. If you make a mistake on one of the W-2 forms, there's a good chance the e-filing service will find the mistake and let you know about it. In this example, we will take a closer look at the error message. And we can see that the Social Security number starting with 913 is the issue. So if I go back to FarmWorks, to that W-2 form that has that Social Security number, here I can make that change, save it, and then simply click Transmit the Website one more time until the message successfully transmitted appears. Now we can go into our web portal and do the next step. If this is your first time at the eFile web portal, you'll need to set up an account. To do this, click on Create an Account. It only takes a few minutes to fill out all the information that has an asterisk next to it. When this is all completed, we'll click on Confirm. Please take a few minutes to look over your information and click Create Account. The bundled copies are the best value. The default option wants you to e-file federal, state, and mail a printed copy to the employees. The option below does everything but e-file state. You may also select from the services a la carte. The employees will be checked automatically. If we wish to exclude an employee for the e-filing, we may uncheck them. But in this example, I will check all three. The table here is a reminder, based on our bundled option that we clicked on, that we're going to e-file federal, state, and send them a paper copy of the W-2. Now I'll check next to proceed. The employees will be listed showing you the total cost for each. To view the W-2 forms, we can hit Preview Forms. This PDF file gives us another opportunity of looking at the W-2 forms. You may also add edit email addresses. By clicking on the button, you can view the email address for each employee. This information is coming from FarmWorks Accounting with the employee setup information. If you wish to use a different email address, you can provide one now. Or, if you wish not to send them an email with the W-2 information, you may leave this email blank. We'll choose Next to proceed. If you have a promo code, one can be entered at this time. Then choose Apply. We'll choose Next to proceed with checkout. Payment information can be entered. And if you have any questions during e-filing, you may email FarmWorks using our email address, which is farmwork at farmworks.com, or you can also call us toll-free at 1-800-282-4103.